Oh, that's hot. That's hot. Hey everyone, I've had a lot of questions recently asking about what emulator I use or how to play PGR on PC. Well, this is going to be that video. I'm going to explain how to set up the emulator I use and the control to go with it. So to start, I use Moomoo Global Emulator. You can find the link in the description or maybe I'll leave it in the comment as well. And then from there, you just download and install it. Pretty straightforward stuff. And once you've got it installed, then the first thing you want to do is come up here and you'll come to this settings bar and then click settings. Now, these are my settings. You can change yours if you want, um, but this is what I use and I find it works pretty well. My PC is pretty high end. So if you have a lower end PC or a laptop, you may want to play around and see if you can optimize it a bit more. Um, but you can change the amount of cores your CPU is using, the amount of memory, and that sort of thing. And if you haven't any dramas, try the compatible mode. So we go to interface settings, and so my desktop is 2K, so my resolution is 2K. I would say most people want 1080p, uh, so you would set it accordingly for that. And then everything else is, most of this is like default, I believe. Um, except for this down here, you want 60 FPS. I'm gonna make sure that's on. And then with this, this is a filter. Now I use this for PGR. Uh, you can use, it'll be on original by default, but I found Sharp makes it a bit more crisp and a bit more visible. It, there's like, a, almost like a blur to the original one, um, which can be good to hide low resolution textures. But overall, I feel like this looks better. And then this here, it, FPS, as long as you have 60, that's all that matters. I just put this on because I could, but it doesn't actually do anything. PGR is a 60 FPS game and it won't run at a higher FPS. Even though your monitor refresh rate may say that it's 120 FPS, uh, it doesn't make a difference. The game only runs at 60 FPS. So once you're done with that, you want to save and close and it'll ask you to restart most likely. Do that. So once you've done your settings, you'll want to come into the App Store and sign into whatever your PGR account is. And then I'm assuming you're playing global because that's what I play and that's what this tutorial is for. If you want a CN tutorial, that's going to be a different video. But anyway, global. So you will go to the Play Store, you'll sign in and you'll download PGR and update it and then just launch it. Easy. Once you've launched PGR, you'll want to come into settings just here and you'll want to configure your graphical settings. Change yours to your PC, whatever it can handle. And once that's done, hit save. Then you'll want to come down to button position. I've got all mine on default, but I put this on fixed. Just make sure that's on fixed. This is all default. I haven't touched any of this. And then come down to others and you want to come to lock settings and you want to click manual lock and display lock button. Just make sure that's checked and click save. You want to come into, this is how I do it. I go into battle, challenge, trial zone, solo, dummy training. And it doesn't matter who it is, just click begin mission. Now, once this is loaded, you can come into your controller. You'll see joystick, which the shortcut is Alt-3, or you can use keyboard, up to you. I personally use controller because mapping the orbs on my keyboard is a nightmare, even though I prefer to play on keyboard. So you click on controller, and then you can see here, I've got everything mapped out. So I've got your movement, your camera, and these are all the different buttons. So I've got down, left, up, and right for orbs eight to five, and for one to four, I've got square, triangle, circle, and X. I've got these two on shoulder buttons. This is the select button on my PS5 controller. This is the start button, and this is clicking in the left thumbstick, and this is clicking in the right thumbstick. 
So the way to do this is you just go new and then you just click and then you tap the button on your controller. So if you guys want my controller configuration, you can actually find it in my Discord if you just want to download what I'm using. And you can just pop it in without having to set it up yourself. If you guys do want to use my controller setup, in the controller setup menu, you just come in here and you create new and then you click on this button here and then you go open folder. That will open a folder to where you should put it. You put the downloaded file into there and then it should appear here. You may have to restart the emulator for it to appear, but I don't think you do. Once that's done, then you're all set. You just select it and then you're good to go. Make sure you hit save when you're done. Now, I use auto attack, so I have two buttons. So I have, this is the left trigger, because you've got two triggers. So this is L1, and I think this is L2, um, and this would be R2, and this is R1. Now, this is the touchpad, because that holds attack, and this auto attacks for me. You don't have to set it up like that, but that's how I use it. So if you don't have it set up like that, then you get an extra button to play with. So you can see you've got your joystick here. That's that one. And then you've got this one, your right joystick. Once you're done, make sure you hit save and then you just go exit. Now you can see down the bottom left of the screen, I've got a little controller. Now if you've done your settings right, it should work just fine. You can see what buttons I'm pressing here. You can see all my orbs activate depending on which button. We've got both our call-ins. And I put a hold and auto press on X because that's orb 1, so I can just hold for sword waves. Now, the last thing you probably want to do if you're not having any dramas and you're all set at this point, is hit F11. Now you've got your full screen. You want to get back out? You just hit F11 again. That's it. All done. Now you're set with Moomoo. Now, I use a PS5 controller, and I had some issues with it originally, where it was holding down the view button. I'm not sure why it does that, as the PS4 controller works just fine, but it does. There is a workaround for it, it's a little program, and I will link that down in the description and the comment as well. You guys can check that out for yourself if you're having any dramas on your PS5 controller. I haven't heard anything from Moomoo Official about any fixes for this issue, uh, and it's been quite a while. So in the meantime, you just gotta use this workaround if you're having dramas. Hope you guys enjoy playing PGR on PC. It's a lot easier to see things when you've got a big screen. The effects look amazing still. It holds up really well. Hopefully there'll be a PC client at some point for people who can't run emulators because their PC might be a bit on the slow side, but until then, that's how you play PGR on PC. Hope this video was helpful. Leave a like and subscribe if it was.